Hey Simlies, it's Delicracy here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 15, and I am currently in the USA, so this part and the next part have been recorded, and then I'll be back in town. So, uh, if you're wondering why I haven't gone back to your comments or anything like that, and why I haven't been reading any of them out, that is the reason why. Uh, but in the last part, we were hanging out uh, at Amethyst Topaz's house. Uh, we had... Well, Neat is pregnant with her and Topaz's second child, which is very exciting. She's probably going to maybe pop in the next part if we're lucky. And then Amethyst uh, received a proposal uh, for a, f to get engaged um, from Akash. However, Akash, we realized sneakily without us knowing, has actually been uh, having a little relationship with another woman. So I'm not very happy and Amethyst is going to find out about that pretty soon. But I thought, uh, because it's Friday night, I thought tomorrow night um, Barbie would throw like a family gathering in honor of Nita and Topaz's uh, new Bambino who's coming into the world and also in honor of, um, or to celebrate rather, Akash and Amethyst getting married. Oh, Nita is still hanging around since the last part. Nice one. Uh, but anyways, look at this little, little flinty, little flinty. Oh my god, you're so gorgeous. Anyways, he really, wait, how are the toddlers going? They're in a terrible mood. Absolutely terrible, very grumpy. So let's get Barbie to uh, put to bed. And then where's the other one? Jasper, where are you? Uh, you know what? Is she going to put him down? Is she going to take him to bed or just put him in the middle of nowhere? Oh, hi, boy. How you doing? <laughs> Marco. Actually, let's get Ruby to have a little chin wag to Marco. We've been trying to work on their relationship just a little bit recently. Um, give a little bit of a heartfelt compliment and do an impression and tell a funny story. Uh, and she's going to get a little bit of jealous of Pearl and Marco getting along, I think. Oh, grilled cheese sandwiches. You are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's read Flint so, to sleep, so. maybe. Uh -huh. Aw, look at like this little <laughs> guy. I'll just put the walls up so we can enjoy this little yeah, moment. Yeah. Take a <laughs> screenshot. Hey, buddy, you've got to go back to sleep. What a naughty little boy. Come on. Oh, no, go to bed properly. Don't nap. Uh-oh. Oh no, very angry from critically low energy. Okay, yeah. Throw a fit. Oh my god, excuse me, little flints. Rishi Bruge. No more talking. We need to you need to you need to go to sleep. Barbie, stop making tuck in, please. Please. For the love of toddlers, tuck in your child and let it sleep at eleven forty two at night. Oh my god! Oh, I thought she just sat on Jasper. Stop, why is she talking so much? Oh. No, no. Tuck in. Oh my god, Barbie, please. Put Flint to bed, please. Okay, good, he's in bed. Jeez. So hard putting kids or children to sleep. And why are the lights not off? Okay. Turn off this room there we go oh and they've still got their little night lights on oh my god these toddlers are the cutest thing ever oh can't wait for when they age up oh my god margie are you in the toddler's room where is she oh my god don't be creepy to your your grandsons look at her just playing with the truck she just loves playing games with them, doesn't she? Anyways, uh, we need to get everyone in a better mood. So um, let's put Barbie to bed. Uh, that sounds good. Ken's already asleep. Good boy. Uh, what are you doing? Read, no, no, go to bed. Flint is already asleep. You don't need to read him. Margie's taking care of the boys. She's taking care of the twins. Uh, in terms of Ruby, uh, you know what, Onyx? Maybe you can go to sleep as well. And Ruby's going to have a little bit of time oh. with the uh, you-know-who here. I mean, they can't really flirt because she's a, she's a teen. But she can still inappropriately be 
a little bit, you know, Planar. Like talk to him a little bit too much. She's like, oh my god, our butler is so hot to all of her friends at school. Uh, complain about her parents a little bit. Complain about everything. Ask about Woohoo. Uh, and give him a hug. While everyone else is in bed, no one knows what's going on. Oh my goodness. He, I mean, he's an attractive sim specimen. I will say. Those dreamy blue eyes. That beautiful, perfect black hair. And that perfectly... Oh my god! Uh, that perfectly perfect chiseled jawline with a slight bit of stubble. Mm-mm-mm. I would hire Marker, but I'd hire him to clean my pool. I'm kidding. Oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. Why am I even saying this? This is a worry, you guys. I wouldn't really get a attractive pool boy. Maybe if I was like Margie's age, I would, just to be fabulous. Oh, see you, Lamasi. You're, mo you're leaving at 1 a.m. Oh my gosh. Anyways, how is their relationship going? Marker. Okay, there are still acquaintances. I think they can get to know each other a little bit better. Oh my god, Lamasi's probably seeing all of this. <gasps> Imagine if Lamasi like went to Barbie or to to Nita and said something, and Nita was like, "Um, Barbie, Lamasi said that the butler and Ruby were looking very close." <laughs> uh, express admiration. Damn, girl. Uh, and maybe show off her outfit a little bit. She's so, like, she so wants attention and people to like her that she loves the idea of seducing the butler, an older man, I think for her would be... I don't think it would be that much older, but it's still inappropriate at this stage. Um... Oh, he's like, okay, that's enough, Ruby. I gotta bail now. <laughs> like, okay. Anyways, let's get you to go to the toilet, and then we will get you to go to bed. And that should, that should, that should be fine. I also have to say, I love Ruby's room. Like, I love this yellow wallpaper and the yellow curtains with the pink. I don't know. I just really like the color scheme. It's a bit different to usual. The Golden Gate Bridge. It's cool. Okay, so everyone's almost asleep except for Ruby. And in terms of work, who's got work commitments tomorrow? Oh, Barbie doesn't. Ken doesn't. Ken's probably having his midlife crisis soon. Uh, wow, Jem's doing really well. Oh my goodness me. Okay, and he doesn't have work for three days, so he has a weekend off. And of course, the kids have the weekend off. So really, we can take our time. I'm thinking we have a black and white party in this part uh, to celebrate everything. So perhaps like we could do a black and white party out here near the pool uh, or we could transform the tennis court, but or transform up here actually, maybe a black and white barbecue type of thing. Uh, or on the rooftop. I think I think near the pool would be kind of nice. We can get rid of this thing, which doesn't even work because in the last part we kind of struggled with that. And we can put some black and white decorations up here. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's have a little bit of fun with this. Let's get a nice table for them all to sit at. And maybe we should make it fully catered. Catered? Catered? Kate is wait, is that how you say it? Catered? Fully catered. Yes, that's right. Oh, I know. I know what we'll do. We'll get some red, we'll roll out a red carpet for the black and white party. There we go. Oh my god, all this for a baby shower slash engagement party. I love this family. <laughs> I really do. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, nice. Nice one. Got anything else we want to use here? Maybe we could just go to landscape and get a few... A few things like this. It doesn't entirely make sense, but we can put them in some oversized pots and it kind of works. 
Uh, and maybe we can put one in the corner over here. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Make it oversized. Okay, we need the plant to be more oversized. Yeah. Beautiful. Pish. Okay, I mean, they're, they're a little bit over the top, but that's okay. That's all... That's what Barbie's all about. Ah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, cool. Marco's setting that all up for the family. I'm going to fast forward a little bit and make sure uh, we can get everyone's sleep up a little bit. It looks like the toddler's beds aren't very good for comfort. I mean, this energy is not going up at all, really. Oh, okay. Took a little while there. I'm not going to lie. Like... Not overly impressed with the quality of these beds. Oh my god, and who knocked down that? Ruby probably knocked that down. My washing machine's going crazy in the background, as always. <laughs> and who is going to be the first person awake? Well, Ruby's definitely not. Ruby's going to sleep in like, as per usual. Probably Pearl, maybe. I mean, we are focused on her right now. I have to say, I also love Pearl's room. I love this, the mints with the, that, the soft kind of, Eggshell colors. Eggshell colors? Peachy colors? Soft peaches? Love it. Okay, Pearl. Let's wake you up, girl. And uh, maybe we'll go... Uh, what's Marco doing? Marco! Polo! When they call for Marco, they'll be like, Marco! And he'd be like, Polo! Ooh, he's feeling flirty. Uh, let's get to know him a little bit, because I want her and Marco's relationship to increase. Uh, so Ruby gets a little bit jealous, I think. Of course, Pearl's not really going to seduce him in the same way. She's not, like, fighting for his attention. Okay, she's pretty hungry. Brush you. <laughs> Maybe she can be like... Melora. Talk about vegetarian <laughs> benefits and then ask him if he could please um, cook a cook a party meal for the family. Cook some breakfast. There you go. She's having a good chat. Her social's going up a little bit. <laughs> I love when they ring the bells. It's so cute. Marco agrees. Maybe vegetarianism isn't as intimidating as he thought. Marco might, ju might just want to grab a bite and see what it is all about. Might you just, Marco. Um, cleaning frenzy. Maybe he appreciates Pearl as well because she's happy to help him clean sometimes and she'll actually clean up after herself. Whereas others, like no one else in the family does that. Let's get him to have some fun. Uh, Ruby's still asleep. What's Ken doing? Ken is bus doing. Bus doing? What? It, what? It, what? <laughs> um, what's this? Read Flint to sleep. That's just stuck there, isn't it? Oh, well. Let's get her up. Go to the to hey, Marco. Oh, wow. He did that so quickly. What did he make? A Capri salad? All right, then. Um, okay, let's call to meal, everyone. Toddlers are still sleeping. They can have a bit more sleep. Uh, I mean, they'll get up for sure anyways. Okay, gems onto the food. Nice one. Why are one of these chairs missing? Oh, because we put the high chair there at some stage, I think. Oops. Oh dear. Oh no. Let's put this over here. Oh my god. My washing machine is like taking off like a spacecraft. Like Ken's spacecraft. I should really shut the laundry door. <laughs> okay. And Onyx? You know what would be good? Let's... Is there a TV in this room? I don't think yeah, there is. I feel like we could have a TV in here though. I'm going to put one in. So when they're at the, the table they can have the TV on. Let's get this one. Oh my lord, that is a big TV. I think something a little smaller like this is good. I mean, it's a bit confusing on mirrors, but hey, it's The Sims. It'll be fine. Okay, let's uh, let's watch TV at the same time as eating. There we go. This is a true family breakfast. <laughs> 
Uh, what channel? Maybe the cooking? Cooking channel? Is fitting? Pearl would be like, Jem, can you please turn off the TV? It's really rude in many cultures to be eating breakfast oh. while watching TV. Jem would be like, ah, oh, Pearl, get over yourself. <laughs> oh. Have a conversation. Deep conversation with Onyx. Ken, are you grabbing some food? Oh, nice, nice. I think Barbie would probably like to have a conversation with everyone that the party tonight everyone will attend and they will all be wearing black and white to celebrate Topaz and Nita's new Bambino and Amethyst engagement. So maybe she can brighten everyone's day and uh, discuss that with everyone. Scalva, uh, <laughs> tell a group story. Not a, oh my god, a gold booty? <laughs> Are they talking about like Beyonce? Ask about another sim. Uh, nah, we'll just, just have a group combo. Successful vegetarian food is successful. The flavors, the texture, all around amazing. This dish definitely has Pearl's seal of approval. Thank you, Marco. She should go thank him. <laughs> Where is Marco? Is does he does Marco ever get to sleep? I swear he does not sleep. Like ever. Assign bed to Butler. Is is it because we never assigned him his bed? I mean surely we did. Oh my god. Okay, where are we? Where where is he? Oh Marco Bolo. Where is he? Having a bath or something? Did he escape? No, he's just here. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about vegetarianism because she loved his dish so very much. Ask about day. She's just going to be friends with him, you know? Three's about interest. Topaz, I hear there's a great party going down at the nightclub right now. What is with him? Or what is with Sims inviting each other to the nightclub at 9.30 in the morning? It's called a nightclub for a reason, not a morning club. These two seem to get along really, really well. Uh, give a heartfelt compliment. She's just going to be nice to him. And ask about where he studied. Right in day, and maybe <laughs> tell a funny story. Uh, and then we'll get Ruby to wake up and be salty when she realizes that Pearl and Marco are getting friendly. Maybe we can talk about vampires too, because I feel like Pearl would be into some alternative stuff as well. Like she'd be scared of vampires. <laughs> and, uh,. Discuss interest. Pearls learned that Marco is a butler at Windenburg Butlering Academy. <laughs> Fair dinkum. That's an Australian saying for those of you who don't know. Uh, and it's 10, 18 a.m. So I think we'll have the dinner party later t tonight. Or the black and white party, rather. Barbie's like, hmm, interesting. No, you are not going to mourn Margie. You are going to have a shower and have a little bit of fun, honey buns. How are the twins going? They're still sleeping. They really need to be fed though and bathed, so... I feel like Ken could maybe take care of them. He hasn't had a lot of fun lately though, so maybe let's... Oh my god, what? Uh, actually, how... They're not f at full energy necessarily. They can probably sleep a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, Jem? Do you want to maybe invite Margo over? We haven't seen that much of Margo. Is that... Is, did we make... Yeah, we made Margo his girlfriend, which is pretty cute. Uh, I think he's pretty into Margo as well. And where did he go? No, Marco, come back. Marco and Margo. They're kind of confusing. Tell dramatic story, and then we'll get... Wake up Ruby, who always oversleeps. And she can come down to Mark and be like, please make me. Oh my god, give apartment key. Ask about Woohoo. Like, Excuse me, Marco. Can you please prepare me a drink? 
she totally do stuff like that. And then she Oh, hello, little Jasper! Hello! Aww. Hello, my little munchkin. Uh, check top of that, maybe. Uh, and then you can... Uh-oh. Oh, did you just see Ruby's face when she saw Pearl? Renobla. And Pearl's like, Ruby, you can't just ask him stuff like that. And then when he goes and makes a drink, she can be mean and mock Pearl's outfit. She's not a very nice person. She's so worried. I mean, look at her face. It's like, Ugh. Oh my god, I'm a vegetarian, Marco. Love me. You're just jealous, Ruby. Get over yourself. Whatever, Pearl. Maybe she can go yell at Pearl again. Actually, what's their relationship like? Their relationship isn't even bad because Pearl's so nice to Ruby despite her being so rude. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, just I mean, Flint's still asleep. Hello! Little buddy pal. Okay, what does he need? He needs food. I think we'll get Onyx to maybe feed little little Flint. Actually, you know what? Ken Ken can probably feed. Oh my god, like father like son in their caps. Give food to Flint, please. Uh, we're gonna give him some applesauce. Cause that's the bomb diggity. And what's Barbie doing? <laughs> Put Jasper down here. Okay, we need to get Jasper. Yes, we want Jasper uh, carry here. Wait. Car oh, yeah. Okay, so carry here. Barbie. Cool. I got so confused. I'm like, wait, is the baby going to carry Barbie? <laughs> it's like, how does that work? Oh, my God. This is just too much. Look at them both carrying their little, their little toddlers. Breakfast time. Adorable. Okay. Enjoy your food. Do they not know how to eat it? Oh, no. I think Flint's a little bit stinky. Or is that Jasper? Swartza. <laughs> BC. Ah. <laughs> so sweet. Um, why does this one look so confused? Eat your chicken nuggets, little one. You little cutie. Oh, so grumpy. Oh, okay, so that's what's stinking. That's what's stinking up the storm. Uh, is Ruby... Oh my god, look at her eat. Eating her breakfast at the pool. Boys just getting along. Gem's probably like, you gotta find yourself a girl. Teach dancing to Margo. You know what? Let's get Jem to uh, spend some time with Margo. She's still in her outfit. I guess Onyx. I mean, Jem met Margo through Onyx because Margo was helping Onyx with his Lona. Um, Lona Sim? Lona Sim? And for being so detached from all the other kids at school. And Barbie was pretty worried. <gasps> Woohoo! Yay! Oh my god, he's in such a good mood. Margo makes him so happy. And is he doing well at work now? Like, he's business level 3. He's not doing too badly at work at all. And he's going to be level 4 soon. Which means he'll be earning, like, $30 an hour. Which isn't that much, but it's okay. Um... Why is she such a oh, stinky diaper? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Uh, bladder is a bit of an issue. Oh my god. Hygiene's an issue for this one. So I think Barbie needs to definitely change the toddler. <laughs> toddler care. Uh, change diaper, please. And this little one, I feel like we need to change your diaper as well. This is disgusting. Toddlers are so stinky. Hello there. I was stopping by in search of a bit of inspiration. Perhaps we could ruminate some ideas together. Sure, Diamond. I think Diamond gets a bit lonely by herself. Uh, okay. Did, did, did this little one get changed? No, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we need to we need to care for these toddlers. Okay, please, please, can you guys just change change them? Ruby's like 
There is no way I'm changing their diapers. Like, seriously? No way. And then Barbie. Why don't they change them? Okay, Barbie's doing that job. Okay, maybe we'll just get um, this little one to actually use the potty. There we go. We need to get potty help from... Uh, you know what? Why don't Jem give some potty help? I feel like he'd be... You know, he's at the age now where he probably needs to get used to looking after kids. Oh, goodbye. Wow, that is... That's savage. I should really get going now. Okay. Wow. She, she knows how to have no strings attached, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, good on you, pal. Cleaning up the mess. So funny. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. We'll have the dinner party in the next part. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.